Solution 1. Enable Guided Access. Step 1. Open Settings on your iOS device. Step 2. Scroll down to Accessibility. Step 3. Tap Guided Access and toggle it on. Solution 2. Update iOS. Step 1. Go to Settings. Scroll down to General. Step 2. Choose Software Update. If an update is accessible, proceed with the on-screen instructions to install it. Solution 3. Restart your device. Restart your device by turning it off and then back on. This often clears temporary issues that may affect guided access. Solution 4. Adjust guided access settings. Step 1. Open the app you want to use with guided access. Step 2. Triple click the device's home button or side button depending on your device model. Step 3. Tap options in the bottom left corner. Ensure that the options you want to restrict are correctly configured. Solution 5. Update apps. Guided access may not work correctly with apps that are not updated to the latest versions. Ensure that the app you want to use is up to date by visiting the App Store, searching for the app, and checking for available updates. Solution 6. Check hardware buttons. Guided access is often initiated using the physical buttons on your device. The iPhone or iPad guided access home button not working may lead to the problem too. Ensure that these buttons are functioning correctly. If there are issues with the home or side button, it can hinder guided access activation. Solution 7. Verify accessibility settings. Sometimes accessibility settings can interfere with guided access. Check your device's accessibility settings for anything that may be causing conflicts. Turn off any accessibility features that you don't need while using guided access. Solution 8. Reinstall the app. If guided access continues to experience issues with a particular app, consider deleting and then reinstalling the app. This can help fix any underlying issues with the app that may be causing conflicts with guided access. Solution 9. Restore iPhone via iTunes. Make sure to back up your data before doing this. Step 1. Link your iPhone to your computer with a USB cable. If iTunes doesn't open automatically upon connection, launch the iTunes application on your computer. Step 2. In iTunes, you should see your iPhone icon in the upper left corner. Click on it to select your device. Step 3. To restore your iPhone, you may need to enter recovery mode. Step 4. In iTunes, you will see a pop-up message indicating that there is a problem with your iPhone and that it needs to be restored. Click the Restore button. This will erase all data on your iPhone and install the latest version of iOS. Step 5. iTunes will download the latest iOS firmware for your device and install it. This may take some time. Once the process is complete, your iPhone will restart. Solution 10. Contact Apple Support. Step 1. Go to the Apple Support website. Select your specific device, such as iPhone or iPad. Step 2. On the support page for your device, describe the issue you're facing. In this case, mention that guided access is not working as expected. Step 3. Apple provides various contact options, including phone support, live chat, and scheduling a call. Choose the method that is most convenient for you. Thank you.